Dear kindergarten class of 2020, Miss Sam and I are so very proud of you. We have watched you grow all year. Some of you we have had the privilege of watching grow since you were just three years old. We have loved you with our whole hearts every single day and are filled with joy and pride at the strong, smart, independent, intelligent young men and women that you are becoming. We have no doubt that you will continue to grow and blossom into the brilliant, successful, amazing people you were always meant to be. Continue on your journey with confidence and pride and know that we will be rooting for you forever. Hi, kindergarten friends. It's the end of our year and I just want to read you a very special book from me to you. It's called, I Wish You More. I wish you more ups than downs. I wish you more give than take. I wish you more tippy toes than deep. I wish you more we than me. I wish you more hugs than uggs. I wish you more woohoo than woe. I wish you more will than hell. I wish you more can than not. I wish you more snowflakes than tongue. I wish you more pause than fast forward. I wish you more umbrella than rain. I wish you more bubbles than bath. I wish you more treasures than pockets. I wish you more stories than stars. I wish all of this for you because you are everything I could wish for and more. I love you. Look at these independent role models hard at work. Our first adventure of the year happened in early September when the College of Charleston came to ECMCS with their touch tank full of interesting aquatic friends. Our students were incredibly brave and curious, talking, touching, and asking great questions. What a way to start the year. One of our first science units of the year was the life cycle of the apple. At the culmination, we had a whole class apple tasting party. We tried a red delicious, a yellow delicious, and finally a Granny Smith. This was our first tasting party, so we practiced using all five senses. We described the apple with our sense of sight, touch, smell, hearing, and finally taste. Then we graphed our favorite one. Surprisingly, the sour Granny Smith had the most votes. This is always a favorite day. On a crisp fall Friday afternoon in October, we boarded the school bus and headed to Boone Hall. There we learned about the life cycle of a pumpkin, picked our favorite one from the field, took a tractor ride through the haunted forest, met the petting zoo animals, and ran through the playground, sliding down the giant slide and jumping on the giant bouncy platform. What a ball. On Halloween day, we invited our middle school friends to come and help us with a spooky sensorial challenge. Inside of a mystery box, they put some strange feeling foods disguised as mystery Halloween objects, such as a fruit strip for werewolf tongue and sliced almonds for witch fingers. There were peeled grapes for eyeballs, a tomato for a heart, and a cauliflower brain. Our friends reached in and felt the mysterious objects and guessed the foods. Everyone was brave and had a great time. We also carved a pumpkin, roasted the seeds, and decorated ghost bananas and jack-o'-lantern oranges. So fun! In primary, we have a yearly tradition of celebrating friendship soup each year around Thanksgiving. After reading the book Stone Soup, 
Each student donates something to add to the pot. We spend all week prior preparing the food in class. We prep veggies, shake homemade butter, bake mini pies and cornbread, and then enjoy our feast together on the final day before Thanksgiving break. What a lovely way to celebrate each other in our gratitude. The week before winter break, we like to study the folk tale of the gingerbread man. We begin with the classic story and then read as many different versions as we can find, and boy, are there a lot. There's the gingerbread boy, gingerbread baby, gingerbread girl, gingerbread cowboy, Cajun cornbread boy, sourdough man, gingerbread man loose in the school, and many more. We compare and contrast them and finally bake our own gingerbread people, but alas, even ours ran away. We followed the clues through the school only to find them right back in our classroom hiding in the bookshelves. We celebrated with a pajama day and a gingerbread house building party. On a beautiful day in January, we boarded the school bus and headed to downtown Charleston for an adventure to the Charleston Museum. There we broke off into teams and went on a scavenger hunt. We found replicas of ancient Egypt, war era replicas, animals, the Hunley submarine, and so much more. What a lesson in history. Early in February, we were given the opportunity to attend Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus, the musical. We sat in the balcony of the beautiful Gilliard Center in downtown Charleston and watched the musical performed by the Kennedy Center Theater for young audiences on tour. We were so thrilled considering Mo Willems is one of our favorite classroom authors. Love was in the air when the letters Q and U decided to make it official and tie the knot. Susanna acted as our Miss Q and Hamlin as our Mr. U. Laura Harvin was our officiant, Ben our poem reader, Beau our groomsman, Kyrie our bridesmaid flower girl, and Oscar our photographer. There was a rockin' reception in the courtyard where we got down to the chicken dance. Another of our favorite annual celebrations is our Italian feast as a culminating event to end Montessori Education Week and our study of all things Maria Montessori in Italy. Together, we enjoy a family-style spaghetti meal with Italian bread, salad, and Italian ice for dessert. We practice our breast gratis and por favors at the table. Never have I ever seen so much pasta eaten at 10 a.m. And just when all was going well, Friday the 13th of March came around, and little did we know that this was the last day we would see one another in person. The COVID-19 pandemic came to the U.S. and school was canceled for the rest of the year. We began a new chapter of school, school from home. It was strange and new and we missed each other like crazy, but we made the best of it. We used a new platform called Seesaw and Zoom and we emailed each other. It wasn't the same, but we made it work. Susanna's favorite work was the decimal system and making four digit numbers. She loved learning about sea turtles. She's looking forward to making new friends. Her best part of kindergarten was having me as her teacher. Her favorite memory was meeting her friend Kyrie. And when she grows up, she wants to help animals and see a pink dolphin. One of Oscar's favorite works was writing four digit numbers. He loved learning about magnets. He's looking forward to going into first grade. The best part of kindergarten for him was playing with his friends. His favorite memory was going to the play, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. And when he grows up, he wants to be a scientist. One of Hamlin's favorite works was coloring. He loved learning about Antarctica looking forward to playing on the big kid playground. The best part of kindergarten for him was Halloween. His favorite memory was the trip to the pumpkin patch. And when he grows up, he wants to be a chef. Ben's favorite work was playing checkers. He loved reading, especially the big long books. He's looking forward to meeting his new teachers. His best part of kindergarten was the pumpkin patch field trip as well. 
His favorite memory was doing five big work. And when he grows up, he wants to be a teacher just like us and his mommy. Bo's favorite work were the math bead chains. He also loved learning about magnets. He's looking forward to seeing the big kid playground. The best part of kindergarten was playing outside. His favorite memory was Halloween. And when he grows up, he wants to be a ninja. Laura Harvin's favorite work was the 100 board in math. She loved learning about math. She's looking forward to a new learning challenge in first grade. The best part of kindergarten was her teachers. Her favorite memory was field trips. And when she grows up, she wants to be a dentist. Kyrie's favorite work were the building four digit numbers and painting. She loved learning about Italy and the continents. She's looking forward to moving up to a new grade. Best part of kindergarten for her was playing outside. She loved reading the old lady books. And when she grows up, she wants to be a mom. Ryan's favorite work was the math work, especially the 100 board. He loved learning about rainbows. He's looking forward to making new friends. The best part of kindergarten for Ryan was playing with his friend Bowen. His favorite memory was doing checkouts. And when he grows up, he wants to move to Colorado. Hi friends. I picked this very special book for our very last reading together. It's called Be You. You were born to be so many things. My wish for you, no matter where your journey leads, is for you to always be you. Be ready to take the next step toward being an amazing human being. Be curious, turn every stone, ask every why, and keep digging deeply, discover your own answers. Be adventurous. Live a big life. When you are ready, step outside your comfort zone. Bravely explore new paths and see where they lead you. Be connected. Find kindred spirits. Be with those who make you feel like the real you. Be persistent. Keep going. Never stop. Keep going. Never stop. Keep going. Never stop. Be different. Be silly. Be quirky. Be odd. Be unique. Be weird. Be colorful. Be okay with being different. Be just the way you are. Be kind. Be understanding. Help those around you to be themselves. Listen. Then listen some more. Learn more about who they are. Be brave, try new things, take a deep breath and plunge forward into new experiences. It gets easier every time you try. Be your own thinker. Think for yourself and set your own unique course. It isn't always easy, but you'll be heading in the direction of you. Be okay being alone. Take time to be on your own. Hear your own thoughts, your inner voice. Listen to your heart. Be patient. Being more you takes time. Take a deep breath, relax. Let your future unfold at its own pace. It will be worth the wait. Be okay reaching out for help. When you need a helping hand, a compassionate ear, an encouraging word, reach out. As you voyage out into the world, remember, no matter what, you will always be loved. You're ready, so go ahead, be you, be very, very you. Don't you ever grow up, don't you ever grow up Just stay this 
Never grow. 